Hello there and welcome! In this video, we will show you how to manage your contacts. For user to see the contacts, it has to be enabled in the rules and permissions. If it is enabled, you can easily see them on the sidebar over here. In this list, you can see your personal contacts and contacts that you have recently added. You can also search your contact list like this. So, any contact containing these letters will be displayed here. You can also create a new contact by just clicking over here. And a pop-up box appears where you can create your new contact. Here you can set up the type of contact as either account, personal contact, partner or supplier. You can of course create other types of contacts. To do so, go to contact menu. So this is the contacts module and over here in the side menu you can find the type of contact button. And here you see the already existing ones which you can easily delete. You can also set the default type and you can create a new type of contact. Over here you name it, then you can also choose an icon for it. Over here you can choose this type to be the default one. Then you can choose the standard fields which are created by the system, which include first and last name. And you can also add some preselected custom fields, which include things like organization, email, phone, street, city, and any other information you would like to know about your contact, which you can easily create in custom fields. So just choose here the ones that you want and click to add them. And now we'll create a new contact of this new type, which you can see now over here. So I will choose it now and you can see that the fields are now different and basically they change for each contact type that you choose. So let's write the first name, last name. For organization, let's put enterprise, then let's put an email. Now phone number and country where she's from, let's choose Antarctica and you can also add your contact to a group or add some references which will connect several contacts together. And over here you can choose if this is a global contact, meaning everyone has access to it, private contact, in which case you only have the access to this contact, and if it's a private contact you can also add it to my contacts, which means it will show up over here. You can now save and continue, which means the next contact form will appear so that you can create a new contact. I will just click save for now. And here you can see that the new contact, Dana Nevada, was created. If you go to the sidebar, you can see that the new contact here and you can see that it has the icon of the contact type that we have previously created. And over here you can see that this contact is tagged as my favorite. So that is why you see it over here. You can also see that this contact is private and if you want to change that, it is really easy. You just click on this little icon. And here you go. Now the contact is global, so anyone can search and see this contact. For your contacts, you can also of course download a vCard for your mobile device. Or you can use this great feature which creates a QR code for you. So if you have a QR code in your phone, you can just scan it and it will automatically profile all the contact detail and you will just have to click save. Now in the sidebar over here you can find some more options like send the contact by email which means you will select a user, submit it and the contact will be sent to that person you have selected. You can also add contact to the project. You can also link two contacts together and add contact to a group of contacts. Or you can delete it over here. This was a quick overview of contacts module. That's it. Thank you for watching and good luck.